Welcome to AI Late to Class. Tonight I'm going to be going through AI upscalers and focusing on open source upscalers versus Topaz, the best commercial upscaler on the market. So I'm going to start with video upscalers with Topaz Video versus Flash BSR. Then I'm going to go into image upscalers with Topaz Photo versus Super, Seed VR2, Aurora, and Full Hardy. Ultra Sharp and Essogan. I'll be showing the results of all of these, which is mostly realism and what you need to have to install them. So let's go. In Topaz video, and here's my clip here of some guys walking with a broken plane. This is a really nice interface. Over here, there's my original 832 by 480. So I'm going to upscale that, put that on four upscale. And here's my models that I can choose here. I've got this one here because I want to enhance those faces because they're not so great. And I've got here other detail. I'm not going to turn this stuff on because things like focus fix, I don't want to be focused on one person. So I'm going to leave that off. And there is other things such as frame rate with the interpolation. Um, it's on 24 frames. I'm happy with that. If it was the normal 16, I probably would have used that there. And I don't want to do slow motion. Don't want to change it to HDR. Not too keen on stabilizing it or using de-blur so just keep everything simple because that way i can match it up with the flash vsr on comfy ui but um, we'll have a look back up at these other models because that's probably the main thing we've got certain things there's for denoising and then we've got advanced upscaling denoise and sharpening we've got one for animation and then there's uh, fidelity detail enhancement but this is the main one here right first ever diffusion model so flash vsr is also a diffusion model that's the open source version of this but when you use this one here on topaz so you're already buying the product but when you want to use starlight you've got to then pay extra for that one or you can use their starlight mini it doesn't seem to work on my machine but you can, if you've got a better machine, have access to that. And that's pretty much it on the models. And here's the result of that. Now you probably can't see the difference watching it through YouTube, but it is a remarkable difference from the original. The original was an AI clip, so when you zoom in on here, you can see these faces aren't quite right. And even though it's got face fix on there, it didn't really do too much to help that so much. You do have also codec settings over here, so that's quite helpful. And you do have presets over here as well. That's kind of helpful, and you can do split window and stuff like that. This is Flash VSR inside Comp UI. Now, I had problems trying to get this going originally with some other nodes, but I've found this node works really well. It's got these sort of presets in it. And for me, with low VRAM, got this option here, it works really well, no problems at all. So trying the full best quality version, but only two times upscale, this is what I got. Just try another example. The one on the left is clearly a lot more blurrier versus the one on the right. Now here's Topaz video version, which is a four times upscale. Remembering this is only a two times upscale. The Flash VSR looks pretty good compared to the Topaz version. Couldn't find a leaderboard for upscalers, so I just went on to ChatGPT, and they've both got for detail and sharpness, 4 out of 5. But realism, Topaz is not doing as well as Flash VSR, is what I thought. So very good uh, speed and performance. Slow, yes, Topaz is slow and this was a lot faster because it's a diffusion model and look at the paid price over here 299 free so how do we install flash vsr for comp ui come over here type in flash vsr in your comp ui manager and you'll get three options here i'm using this one by all lab even though it doesn't have those green ticks i found this one the better version because these ones here yet yeah, they'll work but you have to fool around with the perimeters, whereas this one, because of those presets, just work fine, especially for low VRAM. Here's the GitHub page if you want to read all about it, and there's some comparisons to other models, 
some samples down there. Here's the GitHub page for the All Lab version for ConfiUI Flash VSR. Even though it's 1038 Lab here, this is the All Lab one. As you can see, it's the same workflow that I was using with some samples down here. The important bit you need to know is the models, right? says here the models will automatically be downloaded into this folder here if you have problems with that you can then click this and those are the models that you need to download and put in there this workflow that i've got is for low vram with the enable tiling set to true and i found these results better than topaz so i'll probably use this versus my topaz video on to image upscalers now and of course starting with photo ai by topaz Coming over here, you can upscale, recover faces, or denoise all, or you've got this add enhancements, so you can do each bit separately here. And I just keep things real simple, so I've just done an upscale so that I can match this versus the ones that I use in Comfy UI. And you do have super focus beta as well, so that would focus in on hum. So here's the result of that. This is upscaled 3.3 times, as you can see with the resolution down there. If you move in a bit further, we're at 100% there. So still, you can see on this here and over here, um, that's the part that sort of you can tell it's an AI image. I mean, this was done in Whisk originally, so this wasn't a real person, obviously. But once you zoom in, that's when you can start seeing how it looks more AI-ish. So the first open source AI image upscaler I'm going to do is this S again. Now I do have in this upscale workflow, we just drop that down and we can get the four times ultra sharp and we can get the full hardy as well. So we're using this workflow for the three of them. I'm going to show you to install it in a minute. I'll just show the result from this first image using the S again. That's my four times upscale. I'm still just at 59%, so I'll just zoom that in a bit. So you can sort of see the quality there. I think it actually looks a bit better than the topaz. Here's another example. Looks quite good. When you zoom in though, you can see that sort of AI look there. Topaz version. Pretty hard to tell the difference between them. Still get that AI when you look in. I have the three models that I'm using inside this S again folder. Some people have it in another folder called Upscale Models. So just make sure in your ConfiUI Models directory, either in the S again or the Upscale Models folder. And we'll need to put this one, this one, and this one all in that same folder. The links will be in the comments. Here's your full hardy one here. And you've got your S again times four there and your Ultra Sharp times four there. You can try some of these others if you want. These are the ones I've found that are the better ones. Yeah, so once you've got those models in there, you can just drop that box down. We'll try this full hardy next and have a look at the result of that. Pretty good result, very fast as well. I like this full hardy one. Other people like it as well. I think it's a little bit less AI-ish looking. Here's this guy again. I don't like full hardy's version of this one. Back to the workflow and change that top one to ultra sharp. Now this one, I am focused on this mouse here because it starts looking a little bit cartoonish sometimes when you do this sharpening. So I'm not too happy with that result there. And this guy here, even from far back, I can see he's still starting to look too cartoonish. Going back to our image comparison on ChatGPT, we've got our Topaz photo with a five stars for detail four stars for realism now look at these others here when you got four stars on the s again and four stars for realism full hardy gets the whole five stars then four stars and so does ultra sharp and yeah you know, i did i found that was uh, a little bit different here i'd put it a three for the realism the next workflow i got is this aurora sr upscale so it's just a simple workflow, put in your image, and we've got our model there. This was yet another very quick upscaler, another reason why you might want to use these things instead of topaz if you're doing things in a hurry. Here's the other example, came out okay, it's not the best one. To install this, go to ConfUI Manager, type in Aurora up the top there, you'll see some other versions. Use this Greenland version, this is the one I found that working. 
if it doesn't work for you in the manager you can then go back to the actual github page and do the code and uh, copy that and get clone it into the custom nodes folder the next thing you'll need is the model and the config file which is stored in the models folder in this aurora sr folder so back on this website here go down and you'll see there's a link here to hugging face go there and you'll see the model there and the config file you just need those two files there i'll put this link up here in the comments the next workflow is the super workflow spelt with an i it looks a lot more complex than the others but you just upload your image and you can just press the run and hope it works if it doesn't then you look over here at these tile part and lower those numbers down and that might help you if you've got low vram now there is a text prompt in this i've just left this really simple and we do have steps and things like that that we can play with over here to get different results. Now you do have to have two models here, the Juggernaut model and the Super model. Definitely one of the best models so far as I zoom in. It's still looking quite real for something that is an AI image. The mouse doesn't look too fake either, so it's a very good model. Just move over the comparison here and you can see how much better it is. Specifically the hair. Here's the other example. Pretty good. So the first model you'll need to get this going is the Juggernaut XL. Download that from Civit AI. Click there, it's quite a big model. Put this in your models checkpoints folder. You'll also need this model here, download that and put that in the checkpoints folder as well. And you'll need the node that runs it. So go to your Conf UI manager, type super in there, and you should only see the one, but it is the Kaijai version. Have a look at the website, there's some real good samples there. Poor quality images turn to really good. I've used AI images because I'm trying to make it look like AI images could be better quality by using an upscaler. But there is also a point to using poor quality images and seeing how we can get them better as well. The last workflow I got is the Seed VR2. I found it a little bit heavier than others. I went for a Q4 GGF version. Now you set your resolution here. I'll just show you the result of this one. Pretty nice result. It did take longer than the others though. And you can see the difference there. I had to install this doing copy and git clone into the custom nodes folder in your Confi UI. You'll have to do a pip install with the requirements. Have a look through the list. See there's different version numbers here. What I do is take that off the end of them and just install it as is and hopefully that works otherwise we might have versions overriding ones that you're using for something else these models here will be automatically downloaded when you press the run button i'm just staying with the q4 if you run out of memory you've got your block swap there so that can go up to 40. let's look at the benchmarks on chat gpt four stars all of them for detail but for the Aurora, it's only got four stars on realism and the other two have got five stars. I'd agree that's the same results I came out and probably overall with the other open source ones, these two, Seed VR2 and Super, are definitely better than these other ones here. Maybe even better than the Topes. Just to mention, there's a new Quinn Edit Upscale Laura. And you can go into files and versions and choose one of these versions here. You can use the workflow from my previous video. And all you need to do is in your LoRa there, put in your upscale Queen LoRa. But down the bottom here, this bit here where it's got these megapixels, just change that to two or three how much times you want to upscale it. That's all you need to do. Press run and then you'll have your upscale. I hope that helped you understand the difference between all the upscalers out there. Go back and watch some of my other videos. I try and do things differently so you'll learn something different than what else is out there on YouTube. Anyway, we'll see you in the next video.